Here in Texas history, we use Google Maps quite a bit. Right now, I've got a Google Map that uh, all of our students have uh, created on their own. Uh, you'll notice over here we have different layers. Uh, this is where the students can work at in each individual layer based on what we're doing in class that week or what have you. Uh, for instance, in our regions, we created regions of Texas. Each of the students had to uh, create their own region and put information and graphics within the region that was factual about that region. And as you can see, they have put quite a bit of information in here. Each student has their own and is available to them on their Google Drive, Google Classroom. Uh, we've also created different cities in Texas and each of the cities they have to uh, notate it, even where Lufkin is, where the state capital is, and several other important cities in the state of Texas. As you go through the different layers, you'll see that the students have also added the different rivers of Texas with information and graphics as well. Uh, this is something that they did all 11 of the major rivers here in Texas, including Rio Grande, Red River, Brazos River, Trinity River. These are all rivers that they've created. Each of them have their own Google Map. The one layer we did not get an opportunity to get to is the Texas Indians layer. We did go over Texas Indians. However, uh, each of the Texas Indians that we went over, we weren't able to put the layer in here. I've asked for some of the students to go ahead and try to put this layer on there if they have time because it will help them in the future. And if we have time in class, we will go ahead and uh, create this, this layer as well whenever we have an extra, extra time in class. The layer they've been working on recently is the Explorer Routes Labor layer. These routes came all the way across the Atlantic Ocean from France and Spain. Explorers traveled over here to the Texas area, the Gulf of Mexico, and each of the students had to select the Explorer and uh, not only just name it, but also put information uh, about that Explorer and uh, what they did. Now the way we do that is we would select the line that they created. They can color that line. After they color it, they can change the width of the line to make it easier to click on. They can then click the pencil, name it, the name of the explorer. What did he do? And then they can just add a picture. Google image search. <clears throat> select the image and it pops the image on here they then click slave and each one of the lines would have that image this is what we've been working on in Texas we'll continue to add to this this is a huge study guide is what this is so what you'll notice is that not only is the uh, these are these layers accessible one at a time but they're also accessible by at, at multiple one, uh, layers at a time. So for instance right here I have the Indian selected and you can see which explorers visited what Indian uh, regions. You can also see what uh, rivers they may have crossed uh, by by selecting the, those together. Uh, we could even look in here and see what Indians uh, may have been near what city in Texas. So you can turn these layers on together uh, or individually. So what explorers went through what regions of Texas, what cities are in what region of Texas. So this is what we've been working on all year long. It's a gigantic study guide for the students uh, that will encompass everything we are learning and we will continue to add to it each layer. We will continue to add uh, new layers uh, all the way through out the history of Texas and the students will have this to take with them uh, for the rest of their high school and junior high career. Uh, hopefully it will give them all a little bit of insight on not only geography, uh, but as well on Texas. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, contact me.